Shalom, shalom, shalom. Welcome once again to uh, Yahweh TV. My name is Rabbi Afol. I'm reaching you live from Ewutu, but you are seeing the central region of uh, Ghana in West Africa. Uh, I've purposely formed this uh, particular uh, station or this particular uh, uh, platform for the purpose of, <coughs> sorry, for the purpose of having a look at uh, Christian mixtheism and Jewish mixtheism. And that is basically my purpose. And then I also wish to inform people who will come on this platform to please uh, subscribe to this particular platform and share so that we can reach as much people. This will sort of rather uh, uh, encourage me to do a lot of videos uh, in a way of helping the people. And now, uh, for a starter, we're going to have a look at the uses of the Psalms. Most Christians do not know the power that is embedded in the uh, Psalms, which can be found in the uh, Bible. Uh, the Psalms are very potent prayers, which were said by uh, King David and then King Solomon. Nobody or no pastor or no prophet can compare themselves to these two men of God. Uh, they were filled with uh, what is referred to as the anointing of the Holy Spirit or the Shekinah. They had it to its full brim and that uh, the words that all shed out of their mouth were so potent. So the Psalms as we see them in the scriptures can be put to different uses. And uh, on this platform, I'm going to start. This will be our first lessons, and I'm going to start by teaching how to uh, make good of use of it. The Psalms have got uses, so we'll have a look at the uses. It has got holy names. The reason why it has got the holy names is that uh, when you are reading the Psalms, you come across words like Lord, Lord, Lord. The any time you meet Lord, there is a God name. And this God name were intentionally removed because, you see, with the God names, it makes the Psalms very potent. That is why when it is recited in Hebrew, it becomes a very potent prayer. But in the case of uh, English, I would recommend that those who want to use the Psalms, you use the King James Version. And then uh, the names of God which were removed, or which were removed like Yahweh, Elohim, uh, uh, would be replaced. When you replace them, it makes the Psalms very potent. The next thing is that when you want to recite the Psalms, you have to personify it. Because, for example, Psalm 91 says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. You, instead of saying he that dwelleth, you make it I who dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. So you personalize all the Psalms by doing that you will begin to see great miracles being wrought through the recital of the Psalms. Uh, as we go on, I will be teaching various methods where you can use the holy name in connection with the Psalms to do different type of jobs, especially amulentum. You can use them as amulets. And you can also use them as for prayer drinking. You can write the Psalms and drink them. You can recite them over items and use them. In fact, this has been the secret uses of the psalm. Those who are, know the actual use of the psalm will benefit greatly from it. I cannot over uh, 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 I cannot overestimate the the benefits that will come to you, will accrue to you, because I've recommended the psalms for people, people who had jobs, had jobs. Those whose marriage were almost on the rocks, their marriages were brought back on track. And those who were suffering from uh, money problems or financial problems, they were all resolved. And then those who were being attacked by a spiritual or psychic attack, those who went under psychic attacks, all of this. And then those who were also being attacked by black magic, we can use the psalm to nullify all. Once you know how, you will be able to do that. Uh, I think this is just an intro. But before I, I round up, would you please uh, subscribe to this channel and then uh, 
uh, press on the bell, the notification bell, so that any time that I put up a video on this platform, you'll be able to access. Thank you, all of you, you lovely people, and you are welcome. Uh, shalom, 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 Baruch Hashem. This is your rabbi, your doctor, your friend, your brother, Rabbi Afol. Thank you and stay blessed.